Hey, what's up everybody? It's Thursday, January 9th. Another record high in the stock market today. This is really a pretty, um, I wouldn't say unusual, but it is a pretty dramatic extension of the rally. Now, I want to talk about, you know, the market level means nothing to me because what I focus on are, are the underlying conditions because ultimately, I mean, the market could get, could deviate from those conditions for a period of time. I mean, we saw that at the end of 2018 with the big market correction. And I said at the time, conditions were not just positive, they were accelerating in a positive fashion and that created an opportunity. Now, you could also have the same thing in the other direction. You could have a situation where the market is rising and conditions are actually deteriorating. So you get that deviation in the market from the conditions, eventually um, it snaps back. So let's talk about that, all right? Now there are things that I've been mentioning which point to a uh, deterioration in some of the basic economic conditions right now. Now, number one, and I've been talking to you about this, has been the slowdown, and it is a very noticeable slowdown in credit growth, loans and leases at commercial banks. The pace of growth in that metric now is the slowest in 21 months, almost, uh, you know, the slowest in two years. All right? So you have that. In the recent uh, petroleum data from the EIA, now oil and petroleum, uh, that's very economically sensitive. We have seen gasoline demand literally fall off a cliff, the lowest demand in two years. Okay, we have seen distillate demand. Distillate, when you think about distillate, you think about diesel oil, you think about commerce, right? That broke a four-year uptrend, okay? Very uh, interesting what's going on there. You gotta look at demand. And both of those things, gasoline demand plummeted and distillate demand broke a four-year uptrend. All right, so you have credit demand slowing down. You have fuel demand slowing down. Look at recent data on the weekly unemployment insurance claims, all right? Continuing claims are now at the highest level in over a year and a half. The four-week average of those uh, weekly unemployment claims is just recently was at the highest level in over two years, all right? And I've been noticing, although this has moderated somewhat, um, it looked like unemployment benefits were no longer falling year over year. But now that might not be true. I see the data is starting to kind of normalize in that where we are down year over year. But we still need some time. Anyway, if you look at unemployment claims, like I said, uh, the four week average of weekly unemployment claims at the highest level in two years and continuing claims at the highest level in over a year and a half. So you have credit demand falling bank loans and leases falling. Um, you have fuel demand falling, in some cases sharply. And you have unemployment claims rising, all right? These are not conditions that existed in 2019. And they were certainly not conditions that existed at the end of 2018 when we had the big correction in the stock market. Now, if you want to talk about market sentiment, first of all, let's go over 2019 where sentiment was basically negative and bearish for the entire length of 2019, maybe just until mid, starting in mid-November into December when it, when it turned around, all right? And sentiment started to get very bullish. You see a lot of bullish headlines. If you look at things like put-call ratios, if you look at the AAII weekly sentiment survey, um, there are indications in, in that data that sentiment is very bullish. So 
a lot of things now you have this deviation from conditions in the market and I said I don't I don't really pay attention to levels uh, in terms of giving me information like I'm, I'm not one of these people who think oh the stock market leads the real economy no the stock market will follow the real economy that's why at the end of 2018 when the market was correcting and I saw the conditions in the real economy getting better and accelerating higher I said you have to buy into that and that was a very very severe correction I mean it scared a lot of people it didn't scare me it didn't scare a lot of my subscribers at the, at the time although I did lose a bunch of subscribers because they panicked out and they sold at the bottom but that's their problem so now we have the stock market deviating from what looks like a deterioration to some extent in in basic economic conditions so it sets the market up for maybe not just a correction but something uh, more substantial what's more substantial I don't know we'll have to see but it's all about the economy it's all about the economy and if you're gonna invest if you're gonna trade you have to have the macro picture uh, very well thought out and understood and you gotta know what to look at which I do so I don't look at where the stock market is or where any market is and, and try to extrapolate from that what it means for conditions no it's the other way around conditions will determine the direction of the markets it may not do it on an instant but that's not how I operate anyway I try to determine what are the basic conditions and then I develop strategy off that so right now what does that mean this rally, if I'm right about these conditions softening or deteriorating, the rally is not going to last. And this time it may not be like a three week correction. If something is genuinely happening to the economy, for whatever reason, now I talk a lot about the fiscal support. The fiscal support is there, I'm going to tell you right now. The fiscal support is there. But that's one aspect. You know, you have to look at the entire monetary picture. And bank credit is very important. All right? Loans and leases, you're talking about up around 10 trillion. Yeah, the government spends over 5 trillion, but credit creation is more than twice that. So that's also very important and you have to take that into consideration. Anyway, I talk about this stuff all the time in my report. My subscribers get daily updates, maybe four, five, ten times a day sometimes. By the way, tomorrow we're having the uh, December jobs report released and I sent out my forecast. So if you want to get that, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com, sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trading. We'll check everything out. We'll touch base again tomorrow, and we'll see how everything looks. But right now, I'm focused in on those things that I just told you about. The stock market behavior, is a de it appears to be a deviation from the underlying conditions, just as it was at the end of 2018 when it was a deviation. It was going down when conditions were getting better. Now it's going up when conditions look like they're deteriorating. So the rally will not last if I'm right about these conditions. Maybe it's a temporary thing, but I don't think so. I mean, some of these metrics, I mean, they have really seen a very, very sharp slowdown or reversal in some cases. So we'll see, everybody. All right. Talk to you tomorrow.